Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 13th, 2020, May 14th, correction, May 14th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun for the last 48 hours. Not much has been produced. No major solar flares to talk about. Plasma filament eruption, which was noted yesterday in an outgoing position, created a CME, but we have got no more CMEs on the way to Earth. No Earth-directed CMEs. Now our flare regions, there are eight sunspot regions right now. Four turning away and five or four sitting right here, equatorial and northward. but only firing with SDO. And right now our solar wind speeds are average, sitting at just under, just over 500 kilometers per second, considering what we've been through here for the past three days on our, st on our star. <clears throat> I want to welcome everybody to Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And apparently, uh, Internet wants to uh, screw around with me yet again during a live broadcast. So bear with me just a moment here as everything tries to catch up. Boy, oh boy, do I ever need a new laptop, folks. I really hope this channel goes viral soon. Don't forget to please hit that like button, share with your friends and family from around the world, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Here we go. Have another look here at another light, the northern hemisphere, and diminished equatorial coronal hole. Another one developing late in these images, but again, the largest event was this event in the outgoing position, plasma filament eruption creating a CME, coronal mass ejection. Right now, space weather conditions are low. Solar X-ray flux remains in the C range after firing off a few minor C-class solar flares the last 24 hours. Solar proton flux is low. Sitting at now KP3. A quick look at our geospace magnetosphere, showing the solar winds and illustrating our magnetosphere on our sun. Much love to you all, and I appreciate you tuning in today. Hope you're all in. Enjoying the weekend, enjoyed the weekend, it goes pretty quick. Here is our magnetosphere showing our solar winds, upwards of over 500 kilometers per second. And a look at our sun here, LASCO 2 showing the last 48 hours of energy taking off from our sun. Big active sunspot region there, diminishing in the northwest region of our sun. And there's that large CME taking off outgoing position towards the Parker Solar Probe. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been very busy, but in Japan. Right east coast of Japan, 
right north of all of these submarine volcanoes stretched across Marianas Trench down into Guam. Magnitude 5.2 and greater earthquakes have been striking the region all day long, ranging from 4.5 to 5.8. 5.8 being the largest the last 24 hours. 4.5 earthquake here in Tonga region. Very deep. Let's have a quick look at the depth here. 565 kilometer depth and as well 556 kilometer depth band of sea magnitude 4.9 earthquake here south of the Carlsberg Ridge activity continuing through Turkey and then the Rek James Ridge 4.9 magnitude here south of Iceland and north of Iceland as well towards Svalbard 4.7 magnitude earthquake we're looking South America very quiet expecting something to come here through Chile Peru region 4.8 here in Colombia and as well activity stretching across the Dominican Republic 4.5 earthquake here Southern California largest earthquake through the region today and no major swarms to talk about the only swarm is pretty much in Japan region right now so heads up Japan we could be seeing a possible larger earthquake 6.0 or greater over the next 24 to 48 hours the way things are heating up through this region Having a look at USGS, they're reporting just over 200 earthquakes the past 24 hours, which is extremely low considering. But look at all these earthquakes south of Japan. As I said, right north at the top of this long line of submarine volcanoes stretching from Guam to Japan. Look at that. So that's about 10 earthquakes right in between all of these volcanic island regions. Very active plate region. Looking across the US, minor activity through Kansas, 2.5 reported there, as well Oklahoma, 2.1. minor activity north of Lake Tahoe and earthquakes continue through Lake Almanor in Northern California. Other than that, nothing major to report for earthquakes the last 24 hours. As I said, very low numbers right now and expecting something big. So heads up, 202 earthquakes across the USGS map the last 24 hours. Take a moment to say hello to everyone. Please don't forget to smash that like button and as well share with your friends and family. Five people in here right now that are watching. Thank you so much. Much love and thank you, Suzanne Marie, for your team spirit. Hashtag do crew. And now let's have a look at world weather here. We're going to see that... Uh, it's going to stay pretty dry across North America in the next little bit. High pressure ridge stretched straight across Canada, and that's going to be dominant throughout the week. But as those winds move into the west coast of the United States, still a lot of moisture in the upper level mountainous areas. So watch for thunderstorm activities and possible wildfire activities through California. As we could see some extreme weather popping up as that high pressure ridge thwarts down some pretty cool air.
Atlantic hurricane season starts in about two weeks. June 2nd, I do believe, is the first day of the Atlantic hurricane season. And right now, there are no Atlantic hurricanes forecast for the next little bit. Low pressure system affecting Newfoundland and Quebec. Snowing in higher elevation areas through Quebec as well. But nothing major to report over this next week as high pressure ridge will be dominant across North America. Drying things out. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system over the Mediterranean right now will be leaving. Heading northward, watch for strong winds and extreme weather around Italy, around the center of that low. We did have a tropical cyclone make landfall, Myanmar, yesterday as a Category 5. That's right, it whipped up into a Category 5 cyclone making landfall me and mar thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there another cyclone in the southern hemisphere indian ocean heading westward we're going to keep an eye on that one that could be heading towards madagascar in the long range overlooking australia the next little bit not too much coming your way in the way of moisture at all high pressure ridge still dominant straight across and then overlooking the west coast here the united states and canada again i apologize for these small delays and interruption in service here <laughs> here we go my, my laptop it's just garbage. Time to get a new one. So we've got a cyclone here in the southern hemisphere, east of Australia, heading southward towards New Zealand. Could make landfall Friday into Saturday, 19th into the 20th. Low pressure system through Canada and the prairies. Snow through northern parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Wednesday, Thursday. And that is a look at world weather. Not too much to talk about today. No major cyclones, typhoons, or hurricanes forecast here. We do have a couple areas of interest in the Indian Ocean, both heading westward. We can eat, we'll keep an eye on that as it moves. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Lots of moisture building up equatorial region north of Papua New Guinea. We could have a big typhoon developing here in the long range forecast towards the end of the month. Other than that, a couple low pressure systems here, but big high pressure ridge off the coast of california is going to thwart them northward towards alaska and northern bc so stay safe stay aware stay healthy everybody this has been mike with dilly events worldwide hope you enjoyed the little show here giving you an update on our world for space weather earthquakes and world weather Much love. Heads up, give you a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. And big shout out to all the supporters out there. Thank you so much for your support and love to this channel. And the members, I really appreciate your support. Lots of great things will be coming here with daily events worldwide keeping humanity aware and prepared. So stay young and have fun.